Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm out here in Pittman Center, and I think this is the same road that we were on. Uh, we did the rescue that didn't really look like a road, and it was dark, and I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get to bring you guys some, some footage, but it looks like we're gonna be out here during the day. I got a, I got a really cool call, uh, Wayne's Pest Control. Um, I think they're out of Knoxville, but I, I wanted to give uh, uh, Wayne, a, a huge shout out. He's uh, he called me this morning and said, "Hey, you know, I watch your guys' channel," and uh, <laughs> he was actually kind of excited that he had one of his guys stuck. In because... <laughs> 1,000 feet, turn left onto Fox Hunters Lane. <laughs> we oh, get a, definitely road. <laughs> We get to go rescue one of his. So here's the cool thing, guys. Uh, the channel is amazing. Uh, the channel brings us, uh, you know, folks that that trust us. It's it's a it's a way that that we've built. You guys know us. You know that we're going to take care of your car. Turn left onto Fox Hunters Lane. Truck. And you will arrive at your destination. You know that we're going to do everything because you, you watch us. You watch us every day and you know. So it's just a really cool, it's a really cool thing that we've, uh, that we've built as far as relationships go. You have arrived. I'm not going to make that. No, you are not. <laughs> I'm, sta I'm sitting on the side of this cliff and this UPS guy was doing like 70 around the corner that coming right at me. Okay, but anyway, guys, that's just a really cool, cool part about it is you guys, you guys know us, you get to know us, and and, and call us for help. You know, I, I don't know otherwise that, that we'd have gotten this phone call. You know, it probably would have been somebody from the Knoxville area to come all the way over here to help him just because it was somebody that he knew. So, shout out to the company. And uh, this is definitely that road. It was a little crazier when we were up here because all of this brown kudzu was actually in full bloom when we were up here and it was pitch black so it looks quite a bit different here today and if you guys don't know kudzu uh the two comparisons if you watch that older video and you watch this video that would show you just how invasive kudzu is for our area because it it's uh it looks totally different still looks awful but uh if you remember the last guy come up and uh, there's a big old tree that was down. I don't know if it's had fallen, but we had to go up and around and... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't look like there's been any maintenance done to this road, so I doubt someone's come and like, removed the tree. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if it's still there. Yeah, I don't think anybody's done anything since the last time we were here. I just hope that his truck is still drivable and that we don't have to try to tow him down this. Because it looks like it's going to rain, and then all of this stuff on this road would be super slick. Go that way, because there's, look. Yeah, that tree's. Go that way. It is starting to sprinkle. Oh boy. Gosh dang, Dodge. <laughs> Stay in first gear. Uh, that's sketchier than what it was when we were here last time. Whoo, it's steep. So what did he say happened? What did he say was the situation? He said that the customer had explained that he needed to enter from this side and not the King's Hollow side. He said, but he started up and it's steep and gravel and he started sliding and uh, that was the end of it. He slid right into the right into the ditch. I wonder if he's in the same spot as the other guy was. Wow. Yep, same spot. This is like, you could just combine these two videos, a daytime version, <laughs> a nighttime version, it looks the exact same. This truck looks kind of heavy. I'm wondering if we should have brought red, but it wouldn't have been fun to get red up that hill, would it? No, no, it would not have. Hey buddy, Hi. they got you up here. Yeah, it's uh, our, our daggum work GPS took me up the wrong side of the mountain. Did it? Yeah, it should the, the King Hollow. It's nice and pretty over there. Yeah, it's. Uh, we had exact same car in the exact same spot you're in. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, just about a month ago on. Uh, you can see play by play where I started skidding. I just kept trying to back up to find traction. It should have kept it on the right, but then just kept hitting wet spots. Yeah. Yeah. I got wedged here on the tree, and when I released it from the tree, I rolled. It just go. Yeah, the two wheel drive stuff is yeah. just. Uh, 
I don't know why they give us weird here. But. Yeah, it's. I wonder. I'd like to get you off. So I might have to use a snatch block over. I think you used that tree the last time. I probably did. That seems like he's a little bit closer to that one. I won't do me much good. Right. I'll probably have to use something up here. I thought y'all. I thought y'all were gonna get up here, have to go back down, and then just pull my tail in and out with like. Yeah, I was. I hate. I hate pulling them to me. If I'm on the downhill side, it scares me. On. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't think you can from the last guy that was he was trying to get to the probably that rental cabin that you're talking about treat and he's probably trying to get there because he was in a little Honda Civic I think it was but uh, same spot as you but it's a long ways to leave here and go to get to where you need is, is a long ways <laughs> That'll be fine. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't look like it'll take a whole lot. I'm hoping this tree will be enough traction. About to get some rain. Yeah, it's a perfect place for it. <laughs> okay. I'll just take this one. I'd probably go ahead and get in it and put it into neutral. I'll come down here and talk. Hope that tree stays. Good? Yeah. I probably turn this way now. Just coming up. Gonna ride the tree. All right, you can park. You're out. Is that your parking brake? <laughs> Hopefully, it'll. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope he can okay. uh, have enough traction to to get the back end over. Right, I know the other car. You had to pull it forward. I know. Yeah, that's the bad thing is uh, the horrible backing all the way out of here. Yep. The last guy, he was a younger guy, man. He, whoo, he had an awful time getting out of here. And it was dark. <laughs> yeah, the last time we were here, that kudzu was in full bloom, man. You couldn't see anything down through there. if I can get in here, pull forward, forward far enough so he can get something. If it'll go, hopefully, yeah, I'll follow you, follow you back down. He's gonna have to pull forward first. Yeah, he can come, yeah. If I can 
can pull forward and straighten up, my camera will We'll get you down. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. If you want to come forward as far as you can here, I think we got enough room here. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, I think you'll have it from there. Yeah, I'll make sure you can get down and. If you want to back down to that spot and then back into that spot, you'll be able to turn around and we'll come down and then after you get going forward, we'll turn around there too, okay? Yeah, it's going back. It's going to be down there and it's going to be on this side. On that side around the corner. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to back up into it. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be able to look okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Oh, goodness. He's sliding like mad crazy. Yes. Should have told him to set the parking brake a little bit. I did not tell him that. Um, uh, words of advice, guys, on this stuff here. Kristen did a, a very good job. We're trying to explain to him the load up your gas method a lot of folks don't realize that a lot of folks think that you just put it into uh put it into drive and then you can just let off of the brake and then slowly transition to the gas and it doesn't work that way in the mountains you will as soon as you let off the brake no matter whether you're in drive or or not the the vehicle's going to start rolling backwards you, you got to use kind of a two foot method the stick shift method you got to get that gas kind of loaded up and then let off the brakes all at the same time so i know they say it's bad to use two feet but some situations you have to yeah. you just you have to in some situations that's what we call it the two foot method or you're gonna have to two foot it if they've ever heard us say that which we say that a lot because yeah we're on these hills all the time and guys that was neutral for me i don't i don't need any help going down that hill so i always put it into neutral and then if you need a little extra help, you can set that parking brake by like 50% or something like that. And uh, just by setting that parking brake by about 50%, it'll give you a little more uh, help going down because the first thing you do is you hit the brakes. And when you hit the brakes, 80% uh, of your braking is gonna be in the front and it's gonna lock up the front wheels and then you're gonna slide. So if you can set that parking brake, then that gives you a better odd on uh, not sliding. So he said that as he was coming up, he noticed that he was in trouble. He said, I knew as soon as I went off that pavement, I knew I was in trouble. I got on that gravel. He said, I'm, I'm trying to give it gas and it's rear wheel drive and it's light in the front. And uh, he said, you know, he just, he started sliding. And he said, the pavement tells the story. And you could look, you could look and see all of his slide marks and his drag marks and everything. And he was right. And he said, it was either go in the ditch or go down the ravine. And he absolutely made the right choice. Yeah, the ditch is always the better yeah. over the 150 foot drop. Mm. And he did hit a tree and he did have a little bit of body damage on the uh, the fender on the driver's side and the driver's side door, just on the lower part where he had hit that tree, but it could have been so much worse. This is crazy over here, guys. So this, this is kind of another thing uh, information wise that we've been talking about on your rental. So obviously he's going up to spray a cabin for bugs and, and get it ready for the season. And this is the same cabin that you guys at home watching are going to put reservations in to rent. If you come up this road to get to this cabin, you're going to end up in the same position as the bug guy or the guy in the, the little car that we rescued. Or, you know, like I said, we've been up here a couple of times and so it really does help to do your homework and uh, pull up Google Maps and and uh, kind of plot out your your final. You know, you may you may drive for six hours and never get into any trouble until you're the last 30 minutes here, and then the last 30 minutes is this mountainous stuff, and it and it really does get you into trouble. So just do your research. And uh, King Hollow is probably going to be the go-to. I don't know that anything from the Pittman Center side is going to be your Airbnb access point. I think I think all of those that are being rented are going to be rented from that King Hollow side. I mean, you, you might, if you had some really capable uh, four wheel drive, and I, and I don't know because that's as far as we've ever been. I don't know what it looks like if you continued and tried to get to those rental cabins from that side, if it's even doable. It's interesting because he said that he specifically asked do I need to enter from the King Hollow side or from the Pittman Center side? And they said, oh, you have to come from the Pittman Center side. Yeah. And so, so that's what he did. And so somebody doesn't know what's going on. You know, it, this might be this might be just some 
some person on the other end of the phone looking at Google Maps saying, uh, it looks like the road goes through. It could be somebody who's never been here. It has to be somebody who's never been here. So I don't know. It's just the little things that we learn and we like to share with you guys. And if it helps, it helps. It's valuable information if you're in this area and you need to know it. We're, uh, we're back over on the Pittman Center side. I think I'll just go up this way. Really cool area though down here. We've, uh, uh, the, the view down here on the river is, is amazing. There's some rentals uh, over there on the other side. Airbnbs, and there's Airbnbs along the way that uh, they're just along the river here, including probably that one. That's a really cool spot right there. Yeah, it is. Actually, I see a mailbox there, so I think that's a, uh, a private residence. That's a go away. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got a spot. So this is the same area where we found the, uh, further on down this road, where we found the guy in the, uh, what was it, the 50th anniversary edition of the Thunderbird? Yeah, that's a cool little place. That's probably a rental there. Yeah, that's nice. Right on the, and this one up here, I'm sure is probably a rental right on, right on the water. And they overhang the water too, it's really cool. So this Pittman Center site, is, it's, it's cool. And uh, you've got the campground that's down, you've got the national park that's just right across the road, and you're kind of in between the two, Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. You're, you're kind of off just a little bit, but both ways will take you to either direction. What is it, all roads lead to town? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think it's a big place, but it's really not. If you just drive, you're gonna end up in Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg or Sevierville. They all go to the same place, or the interstate. Yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of country roads in between. But the water's up, guys. We've been, gosh, we've got a bunch of rain. Get the tube ready for the summer. <laughs> Throw her in. That looks like a blast already, but I bet you that water is cold today. Anyway, stick around, stay tuned. Got some more coming your way. You're, you're leaving now? Yeah. You, you can't park. They called me for the removal because they said you were parked here. So. Wait, it says nobody parking. No, that's the parking garage. Yeah, you're right beside the sign, dear. You got lucky. Have a good one. <laughs> okay, every now and then they get lucky. Um, couldn't get over here fast enough. She called us for two. It's always crazy, guys. I mean, there she's she's parked right beside the sign, and she's. Uh, but I truly, I honestly believe she thought that it was okay. I, I really do. She she said, uh, you know, the it says parking up on the parkway. It has a parking sign, and you know that's. I said, yeah, that old Smokies. I said, yeah, that's uh, the parking garage is uh, right over here uh, uh, people just don't pay attention they just don't pay attention to you know i'm coming down this way it says parking i'm supposed to park in this parking garage and pay uh but you can see right here where she was guys and it says parking i'm gonna park in this parking lot where there's 10 spots yeah but uh she's parked right beside that one so and then if you pull forward you can see we'll let them see where the parking garage is see right there's the parking garage a big building right there and then there's the entrance to it right there. So. But yeah, she's called me for two, which happens a lot. People will come over and they'll park in, uh, they'll think they can get away with it. Uh, I park here for free. I'll run over here to Old Smokies and have some drinks. And uh, sometimes we get them, sometimes we don't. Okay guys, welcome to Walmart at uh, midnight. I guess it is. Um, we just grabbed this one from the National Park, guys. This one's crazy. I just thought I'd bring you guys a little bit of the story. It's nothing cool. Uh, they, they, they said that they were in the National Park and they were going around a corner. And I think maybe they were going a little bit too fast. But uh, she said it was dark. I come around a corner and that was it. She slid off the road and, and hit something. They're very crafty, guys. Look at this. So they tried to band-aid it up to, uh, to get someplace. But 
the tire ended up being flat and they didn't make it all the way out of the national park they said somebody bumped their head so they were going to take them to get looked at but we we talked to a park ranger and he said he didn't know anything about it uh but we're, we're here at walmart you know, hopefully they'll get a tire put back on it they think that if they get a tire put on it that they will be fine to drive where's home indiana indiana's home so i don't i mean that's a lot of flapping and whistling around for a six hour drive on did they say it was their car or did they say it was a rental i think they said that it was theirs okay anyway uh, that's that's a lot of damage and it's all-wheel drive too guys. yeah it's so all-wheel drive that must have been quite the corner up in the national park there but somewhere in the national park there's probably some some silver car parts up there so be careful if you're in the park at night it is the corners are crazy you can't yeah Whoop. slow down anyway stick around stay tuned uh sound the sound of sirens you never know Thank you. 